What is going on guys? Wiser here and I'm coming to you to the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was a random matchup against We Are Raiders War. Uh, yeah, those guys over there uh, doing their thing uh, was a pretty crazy matchup to be honest and pretty crazy war. We Are Raiders actually should have um, probably come away with the victory here. They were uh, doing, I believe, a bully attack at the end of the war. Very last attack um, and they disconnected. So unfortunate for them, but uh 84 83 victory for 2.0 <clears throat> as it stands and uh overall really impressed you know uh i think uh we raiders had at least one extra town hall 11 and maybe an extra a uh, couple extra 10.5s um sort of 10.5s but uh so so regardless having that kind of advantage in the town hall 11 is just superior to anything and uh still the fight that we put up was awesome i think overall so really good job 2.0 uh twos on everything up in the 11 stage and then cleared the tens fantastic job and the nines all the way down so uh really good job guys um i was not in this war i'm in the uh Ch -ch chicago live clan we just tried to match and it mismatched tonight a 50 person i don't understand this i can't wait to discuss this at the actual event but the fact that we mismatched it just shows we do need the ability to arrange wars at least somehow i don't i don't know there, there's got to be a way you can implement it without any sort of abusing or i don't even know how you would but i know some people have their reasoning that why you shouldn't arrange wars but unfortunately it's just it, it just would add such a, a, a factor to the game i just I, I don't know i don't know how you can argue it but it is what it is everyone has their own opinions anyhow lots of attacks here i want to show so let's watch some replays uh number 22 that's what i was gonna start with leo had a very good war six pack for this guy <clears throat> bring easy i'm watching him doing these friendly challenges he did it on a couple of my bases um leo is dedicated right now uh, <laughs> to cold-blooded and shattered lalos on any town hall nine base it doesn't matter which what it is um so we are raiders like this it's like a town hall 10 uh, some town hall eight defenses mostly so just strange kind of stuff but whatever um it's what it is leo exploits the hole here drops some valks and a golem i believe has two lava hounds and 18 balloons now to, to back the rest of this up and gets all but one air defense i believe out of the deal so in comes the lava hound number one lava hound number two is now in as well still has 10 balloons to deploy and look at the like once he gets through these two compartments there's a tesla and three wizard towers those are the only air targeting uh defenses left and still has all these balloons to go uh probably was even extra heavy here i don't even know like uh maybe would have dropped one more here and then just let them go maybe drop one distraction down here but there he has so many units um another little thing right because of the town hall eight defenses probably could have just went with the one max hound here um but i guess you don't fully know what you're gonna get with that kill squad but better safe to be sorry uh but it's definitely gonna be tree star in the bag for leo and a six pack for this guy just for like just I'm watching you man I'm watching your friendly challenges it's like if you get an extra golem you go shattered if you only have the one golem you get a hound you go uh cold blooded and you're having really good success so nice job man next on the block number 19 good old gravy going in here uh open alleyway concept base you know how i overall feel about these style of bases uh and grady does a really good job here of just smashing through this <clears throat> a lot of hit high hit point stuff here in the initial queen walk keep in mind he's got three rages and a heal no jump spell at all uh the idea here now is to get a really good value out of this queen charge and get her down in near this queen chamber take out the defensive queen take out an expo all these points this whole basically shebang on this side and gets it with very minimal uh investment rate the four healers creates that funnel using two wizards i mean uh takes takes a tesla out in the process down goes the expo sends in a few hogs too while the queen's tanking that tesla to take down the arch tower and tesla itself just a beautiful entry here grady and everything's looking great hogs finish that off yank out the cc do their job take down that mortar end up getting the sweeper but dying and 
but the, their job's done, right? I think he what, sent four hogs in there to get the two defenses and the lure. Gets it pulled right over to the queen. She's going to take care of that stuff under poison. Just to be safe, Grady's a good guy and hits the ability. He knows he doesn't want to screw this up. <clears throat> Grady's execution is just flawed. It's one of the best in the clan for sure. <clears throat> and here comes a baby dragon, right? Uses the, the fact that there's zero funneling buildings on the outside to worry about. So you can just drop all the Valks on the army camp and drops a few healers on them. Uh, healers actually lock right onto the king who's low health too. So just perfect. Gets everything moving in. Knows exactly where his troops are going to go. Beat through this wall. Heal spell goes down. They're going to get the expo. Move right down to these Teslas. <clears throat> Bowlers are in there behind too. And, and, and I mean, realistically, guys, this is like a different version of this new HGHB, right? It's just bowlers in the CC following some tanking units. So in this case, it's Valkyries with a Queen Walk, right? With HGHB, you just bring a bunch of Giants and screw the Queen Walk and screw the Valkyries. I'm just going to bring Giants <laughs> and let those walk in front of the Bowlers. But the same idea, right? Valk staying way out ahead. Bowler standing in behind in the Rages, just smashing buildings from such a long distance. Does lose his Queen there. Uh, unfortunately, there's a sliver of a health left on the cannon. But look at all these units, and there's just not much of the base left to go. So tree in the bag is imminence. So many Valks. Still so many units. Even though you lost your queen, like, just unbelievable. Nice job, Grady. Tree in the bag. And next on the block is 17. Dark Prince getting taken out by Man Warble. Mm -mm. <laughs> I like the five dragons here. Um, very creative attack overall. Uh, if you look at what he's doing here, he's going to bring this little queen charge. Get this nice and easy air defense at 12 o'clock using this queen. Yank out this CC. Um, and another base with no funneling buildings on the outside. So once the queen takes all this out, he just drops a jump spell here, lets a CC full of bowlers and the king in, and they smash the, these two air defense up here. He's only got this air defense down there to worry about. So he's got a lava hound for that. Five dragons start taking out all those buildings and just sends in five balloons right on top of this uh, air defense you're going to see in a second. But absolutely create very creative attack. I loved it, Warb. Uh, but again, bowlers in the CC in all fashions to me. I'm seeing more and more not bringing max bowlers in your CC at Town Hall 9 is a big mistake. You got to use them properly, mind you. But when you do, they are just ridiculous. Like, all this stuff gets down. I think maybe he doesn't get that air defense down. No, he must. He must. Queen gets over there. Just got to work through that clan castle. Yeah, she's going to get it. Absolutely. Just in time. No, there she goes. Taking it out for those balloons just in time. The one balloon got got taken down by the air defense. Everything else is still up. Four dragons. He's only lost one dragon there. Drop some cleanup wizards on the outside. This base is GG. Still has bowlers and king is king's ability down there. Healers all fine and dandy. Just smashed it. Warb, nice job, buddy. <clears throat> oh, next base. Good old Mac. Bringing an absolutely beautiful attack here. Queen's going to go ahead and go down. Get good value. Charges her into this compartment, right? There's Look at this line of high hit point structures. I thought that was kind of interesting. I would never do that. To me, that's like a waste. And I, Cad and I talk about it all the time. Spreading out your high hit point structures, especially with Valkyries nowadays, if you, you want to try and have them get them stuck up on... A small building and a high hit point building because or if, if any at all right um you know they're gonna get a two for one value on those high hit point buildings that's not good also pekka in the cc i thought that was kind of interesting sure um it it can be deadly uh to a queen walk if uh, you're not ready for it but if you are it's fairly easy to take care of so down it goes <clears throat> and the queen's job is done right she's just gonna stand there take care of all these high hit point structures just one at a time Ends up dropping another raid spell, get her healed back up. 
Really, the Expos are the only threat. Just got to work through that stuff, and then she's going to start working on all those defenses. Uh, Funnel's been created down the Queen Chamber. Valks go in, smash through the wall, poison down on the Queen. Does lose his King fairly quickly there, so that was a little bit of a concern. Because um, really, there's not a lot of this base, but the, these 10 Valks are just getting crazy, crazy value. And then in Mach 6 fashion, drops the Miners on the outside here. Just going to start zigzagging up through this section of the base. Uh, and the whole goal with that is just keep the Valks moving towards the defenses. Um, you don't want the Valks trying to get in these compartments. I mean, the miners were a little behind there. So, yeah, you see some Valks beating on the walls there. But um, everything else kind of went up into this last chamber. It's perfect. You almost didn't even need the miners. I don't know how much time was left, but just beautiful attack. Nice job, Mach. The Mach 6. Mm-mm. And Shaddy bringing an awesome attack here. Notice the P.E.K.K.A. <laughs> I think that's an interesting choice. I was not involved in the planning for this, but I don't know why he decided to bring the P.E.K.K.A. Um, but at the same time, it actually works out really nicely for him. Uh, the backside Lalo as well, I thought that was really creative. Um, just a well thought out attack here, Chad. So the Shatter entry is down. Funnels created, all that jazz. Going to open up that wall. The Earthquake earth, earthquake spell knows it. Open up two air defenses and that queen. Uh, everything's going to move in with the get the CC troops. Or sorry, three air defenses, my bad. And the Tesla. So that was the idea of the Pekka. There's not, again, not a lot of all the hip, um, high hit points is outside the base other than that clan castle. So all the value is going into defense structures at this point. So that's what the Pekka is in there. The Pekka just kind of one shots all of these uh, structures as it goes to it one at a time. So it gets the king in, right? Air defense number two is down. Queen's kind of taking her sweet ass time getting there. She's going to start working on the town hall here in a minute too, which is unfortunate. Um, but as soon as this uh, defensive king goes down, and then the sweeper goes down. Oh no, I guess it gets uh, gets lost there. That's right. The queen steps up and gets it. So the third air defense goes down. For some reason, I thought the Pekka wandered back down and took out the third air defense. Um, but really, one air defense now to go. So Max Hound is in out of the CC. Uh, about to drop the second hound in from the 12 o'clock location. Balloons following up from behind. Just absolutely meticulous deployment on that. Two, 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 two. Perfect job on, on absolutely everything at this point. No spells, though. Um, used all the spells on the kill squad, so these balloons are going to be very slow. But with two hounds and only the one air defense, not even a Town Hall 10 air defense, um, sort of like a weird kind of 9.5 here. Uh, not even a 9.5, it's just a Town Hall 9 with a Town Hall 10, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Oh, some, some walls in there, I guess. I don't know. I didn't really look at it. But just smashed it. Look at it. Three, six, nine. Like 10 balloons, still a cleanup balloon to go, right? Has pups all over the base. Just smashed it. Nice job, Chad. Very, very well thought out attack. Boom. Uh, man, I'm getting so pumped for Chicago Live. I'm watching the... Some of the guys got there tonight, so I'm... Uh, um, was seeing some of the pictures going around them all having beers together and stuff i'm uh definitely definitely getting pumped here so uh hdhb <laughs> here it is caddick the man himself uh bringing it right to this 9.5 <clears throat> Uh, funnel gets created again part of the issue with some of these bases from we are raiders is the lack of the funneling buildings on the outside um not really not really a lot of effort to get things funneled right into the base here. So uh, Caddick takes advantage of that, right? The bowlers are in, the giants are in right in front, trigger the bombs ahead of time. Just perfect job. Healers keeping everything going. They're just beating through walls under these raid spells. Couple, but it's kind of weird. Like these one and one bowlers um, loses this one, right? Almost gets the hog there in time, but doesn't. Uh, but they're just continuing to starting to do the cleanup process, right? That's why he drops the wizard here. It would have been nice if the bowler stayed alive, could have used a wizard elsewhere. But uh, the uh, you know even drops one up there, right? It helps it helps the cleanup process. That's what all you got to think about at this point, because the giants are staying alive. Especially if your healers don't die, they are dead now. But he's through the whole core. 
right? They're already working on the backside. All these troops even drops a heal spell to get those giants right back up to health. Bowlers kind of moving in, doing cleanup all around the base. Sprinkling hogs, 2-2-2-2, two, 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 where he feels he needs it, right? Uh, King has two healers on him still. Uh, queen ability untouched at this point, and all defenses are now down. Freaking beautiful raid there, Kadic. This HDHB, man, is just face roll. Tree in the bag. Right, so I got a couple 10v10s to show you here, actually. Um, where is he? Paul, he had a six-pack. There they are. <clears throat> So both of these attacks by Polly, the, the, the six pack you're going to see, um, are dragon attacks, right? Ten max dragons he's bringing here, double or two zaps and two quakes. Now the idea with that is taking out the one inferno tower, and then the other inferno tower. Boom, one zap, one quake. Just beautiful job on that. Oh my bad, sorry. Two zaps and one quake, <laughs> not one zap and one quake. Um, anyhow. Now that I'm back to reality, <laughs> sorry, I totally got distracted there for a moment. Um, he's just going to suicide the heroes in, right? Uh, queen kind of starts taking some damage, but allows the king to get in there too and hits the queen ability, takes out the air defense, and that actually reminds me of uh, the old KNX attack, but it would have been just pure Lalo on the back end, not all these dragons. Um, you know, the Zapquake, there's no Inferno Towers to worry about. The one air defense is kind of in the centralized position. Uh, spread the dragons out, right? So they're just going to basically like Asian wall dragon style across the base here. Lock onto that queen. Lock onto that air defense. Beautiful job. Nothing really to threaten these dragons now at any point. Just a nice slow attack. Still six cleanup minis he's got to deploy. Go clean up gob. <clears throat> just going to work through this base. Uh, ground at Expo too. Just RIP. You know, there's just nothing at this point. There's one Archer Tower and a Tesla. Two Archer Towers, sorry, and a Tesla. The only thing that can touch these dragons. Really, unless he had some seriously unfortunate traps at this point. It's definitely going to be tree in the bag. Look at those Valks just jerking it over there unfortunately they go give that goblin what it, what it's worth i don't think i've ever built a goblin in the game i don't know why i don't use goblins i never have i don't think i ever will minor level five <laughs> but that's sexy tree in the bag for Polly. nice job man and let's check it out very very similar style here you know like this level three inferno and this level one inferno just very strange base builds town hall 11 not exactly sure what the idea is behind um, behind it, but it's a very very wonky basis for We Are Raiders. Just uh, just the setups and the the town hall progression. Anyhow, so I, I mean, like, this guy's got a warden, right? But like I said, level one infernos. These, yeah, I don't know. Just very strange. Uh, anyhow, suiciding heroes again at this air defense, right? Um, Zaps went down. And we're going to pull up the CC right now. Uh, Dragon Loons come out. Poison Spell goes down. Gets the Skellies. Right? Just going to start working through that stuff. It has to get to that air defense to make this successful. And is definitely going to. Right? Queen's going to mop up the rest of that dragon. Kill the balloons. And the air defense is already down. So their job is done. Right? But for the difference here. Right? He's, he zapped the uh, other air defenses this time. Not the Infernos. But look at the way the base is set up. It's almost like a perfect alleyway straight across. Um... He was hoping all his dragons would literally go like straight across this base. Um, he does lose a good chunk of them off to the side here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, there's a level one inferno on the back end. Starts dropping cleanup minis already, right? Like nothing could touch them. And these max drags, like there's not much hit points. Once the clan castle goes down here, there's barely any hit points protecting this inferno tower. So they're just going to mop these uh, buildings up, finish the core off. Down it goes. Down goes the Inferno Tower. See you later. Boom. Definitely a tree star in the bag for Polly J and a beautiful six pack, buddy. Boom. All right. So it's super late. I'm going to call it a night. But uh, thanks for the war. We are Raiders. Uh, hopefully, uh, you don't have the disconnects next time. That's unfortunate. Sure, that must have hurt, but uh, is what it is, and victory for 2.0. So good job, guys. Like I said, especially with them having the advantage, uh, really just just perfect war, right? Like all all across the board. Can't say anything else. But uh, I will call it a night here. I am very tired. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help beg that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.